Now we're back on the broadcast band with some Chuck Berry. Here's the uh, top of the chassis. Uh, at the rear, you see the uh, rectifier and the 6L6 output tube, and they are really packed in there, almost touching, uh, certainly heating each other up. I suspect that the original 6L6 output was a metal tube, like all the rest of the tubes except for the rectifier here. Uh, you can also see that I've left the two filter capacitors in place. These are not originals. Um, they had been replaced at some point and I replaced them again, but I, I left the cans there just for looks. And I generally clean things up, replace the uh, rubber wire on the grid uh, caps on the tubes, and uh, this is it. Here's the underside of the chassis. Uh, I replaced almost all of the paper caps. I like, got a couple left in the RF section that seem to be low stress and they're pretty well hidden. Uh, the radio had previously suffered some trauma. The Candome voltage divider resistor had been replaced with fixed wire wounds. Uh, the filter capacitors had been replaced once before. I think the volume control had been replaced and at least one of the other capacitors uh, with the wrong value. And so uh, because there had been a lot of work on it and apparently some stress previously, I wasn't too concerned about replacing all of the uh, capacitors, which you can see in there. Uh, and some of the resistors, I tested them out. The ones that were way off, I replaced. Uh, and I also replaced the rubber insulated wire that had crumbled pretty badly. And in this radio, a lot of it uh, lies along the chassis or in places where it might short out. Uh, I also replaced the line caps with safety caps. And I left uh, two of the riveted old capacitors in with their leads cut off. And also, uh, when you'll see the other side, uh, left the um, <clears throat> filter capacitors, the replaced ones, and they're not the originals, uh, in place uh, just for looks. So here's what it looks like. It's a, a busy little chassis there. This is the back. Got the chassis in the cabinet now. Uh, the speaker here. It was mounted originally on a piece of cardboard, basically, for a baffle. I replaced that with a piece of plywood that I stained up, uh, make it close to the original cabinet. But the, the cardboard didn't seem to be an appropriate way of doing things. And uh, up here, again, got the chassis and uh, lots of room for ventilation. Here we are from the front uh, in the total chaos of my shop. Uh, this cabinet was in really bad shape when I got it. The uh, veneers were peeling. So I had to do a lot of re-gluing and the finish was completely gone. Basically it was uh, water damage or moisture damage, probably not water, but moisture. And so I had to redo the whole thing. Uh, the grill cloth had been poked out. And so I found some original, uh, not original, it's close to the original pattern and color. Uh, the original grill cloth under the wooden strips was not faded. So I was able to tell what it had looked like originally and I found some uh, from a supplier of grow cloth that was pretty close and I varnished it up after gluing the veneers back together stained and varnished and this is what it looks like okay, here we are operating uh, I had to turn the shop lights off because they create a lot of interference with the fluorescent tubes uh, the radio is working pretty well
Okay, that's all for right now. Uh, not much on AM radio in the daytime. Certainly not much music. Uh, I will try some shortwave a little later in the evening, maybe. <laughs> We've got shortwave. Uh, even though the antenna may be partly grounded out by the rain, uh, the radio is doing pretty well here. Uh, that's what he was designed to do. Seems to be some sort of Hispanic music. Okay, here we have a 1936 GE E86 console radio. It's playing uh, WSM Nashville, the Grand Ole Opry right now. Uh, I'm about 700 miles from there. <clears throat> I've got it connected to a long wire antenna, which is probably sort of grounded out because it runs through a tree and we're having rain here in Michigan. At any rate, I've now finished this radio. First, uh, last year, did the cabinet restoration. And this year, I did the electronic restoration. And we finally got it working. Uh, it's playing right now through a dropping resistor, which is an old electric heater. Uh, the wall voltages are too high for this radio's design. Uh, I was getting really high plate voltages on my tubes and was alarmed about that. And it turns out it was really just a matter of um, the wall plate voltage being too high. So I've got a dropping resistor in series with it right now in the form of an old electric heater and it's working very nicely. <clears throat> uh, I've got the shop lights turned off and one reflector light turned on because the shop lights are fluorescent and they make a real racket on the radio. So uh, this is a, the AM broadcast band. I may try shortwave and see what I get on that. <laughs> 